Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna do a little bit of something different. Uh, we have a custom job. Uh, we have an entire lift kit that we're gonna be doing. And so um, we've got everything hung up. We got everything ready to spray. We're gonna shoot it with some primer. We're gonna shoot it with some base paint. And then we're also gonna do something that's gonna be really awesome. It's gonna look very cool and very custom. So we're actually gonna shoot it with our color shift uh, glitters, metallics, whatever you want to call it, but essentially it's a powder that we are going to add into our, um, it's going to be more of an inner coat, and then we're going to spray it onto all these pieces. And so essentially it's going to change from, I believe it's like a gold to a purple to a maroon to a red. I mean, it changes like four different colors. So um, if you haven't tried the color shifts, this is definitely something to try out. It's something that's fully custom. It's more of a, some people call it a chameleon color. Um, they, they work awesome. They look awesome in the light. They change so many different ways. And especially on all these pieces for this lift kit that we've got here with all these curves and everything, it's gonna look amazing, all right? Because of all the curves, you get all the different light changes and shifts and patterns and everything, it's gonna look awesome. So what we've already done right here is that we've already blasted everything down. We got a good profile on all these parts. Some of them we had to go back down to bare metal with because the powder coat was already flaking. So poor job on the powder coating, but you wanna do a better job, so of course, we're gonna blast it all down. Um, so we've already got everything blasted down. We're uh, about to shoot it with our primer. So the primer that we're gonna be using is gonna be the P250 and the P251. That's gonna be the epoxy primer. And so then after we prime it, then we're gonna paint it with a black base coat. So stay tuned. We're gonna go ahead and get started, get everything mixed up and uh, start spraying these. So keep watching. Everything primered, everything is ready to go. So um, we're now we're gonna go ahead and after the primer, we're gonna spray a black base coat down. So whenever we're doing our color shifts, you gotta remember you wanna spray a black base coat to get the best effect for it to actually look the best way possible. And so it's gonna give you the best color change, the best flop, the best everything. So uh, now that we've got all these primered, we're gonna go ahead, spray some black on it. We're gonna use our midnight black that we have. Uh, if you're interested in it, uh, in any of these products, you can actually see the link below in the comments or in the descriptions. And uh, then you can see what all we've used. So that way you can see exactly what we use. And if you're interested in it, you can definitely get it as well. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna spray some black on all of these and then once we get the black on it then that's whenever the fun really begins and we're able to see the color shifts in action being sprayed and ready to go so stay tuned Now we're ready to spray. A uh, couple of things that I want to kind of go over with you on the color shifts before we uh, actually put in the gun and start spraying. So first thing is, is that um, on our color shifts, this is going to be the copper rose pattern. Um, great pattern, gold to purple to um, uh, all crazy different colors. I think there's like four or five maybe colors that it changes to, but really cool pattern. So uh, we offer this two different ways. You can buy it pre-mixed, to where you buy a half pint, you buy a quart, you buy a gallon, you get it in, you put it on a shaker, you pour it in the can, you spray it, you're ready to go. All right, that's the easiest way to do it because literally for for people that don't have like a gram scale or don't like mixing things, that's definitely the way to do it. Or we also have it in available as just the glitters themselves as the color shift. So essentially, you can buy the color shift and put it either in an inner coat clear or in a clear coat if you wanted to and spray it that way. But the thing is, is you're gonna have to know what to mix it at and then that's your own, you know, your own mixture. Uh, if you're fine with that, 
definitely do that. It's going to save you a little bit of time, a little bit of money. Um, but if you want to buy it, you want it ready to spray, then literally you can just buy it ready to spray and you're good to go. Uh, in this case, we've got some of our ready to spray that we've already got mixed up in the gun, ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and spray this. Now again, we're going to go ahead, uh, we're going to put two coats on this. So first coat's going to look pretty good. Um, it's going to start to change a lot right then, right whenever we spray it on there, it's gonna look pretty good. But that second coat is whenever it really comes out really nice and vibrant, uh, shows all the color and everything. Another thing to keep in mind is that whenever you are spraying the ready to spray colors that we offer, uh, make sure you abide by the flash times. Normally you wanna have about a five to 10 minute flash between each coat. Most of the time whenever it's dry to the touch, uh, of course, you don't want to touch your part, but you know if you've got it on a hook like this, you can touch this to make sure that everything is still dry before you add that second layer. You don't want to just hammer it on there, and then you might get either a run or a sag or something like that, and that's not something you want. So um, let's go ahead, let's get the gun. We'll uh, get some video of shooting this shot here and get it all shot, show you guys how it's going to look. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this, so stay tuned. Like 
this. Or on some of the pieces, you can pretty much just go up and down or something like that. Sometimes you can't really uh, choose going back and forth or one way or another. But on a lot of it, by doing a crisscross pattern, you're able to get the, all of the colors to mesh together so you don't get lines in your paint or in the actual metallics themselves. And so then you have a more uniform color all the way around. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to finish spraying all of these. All of these are going to come out freaking awesome and they're just going to be one-off custom color shift lift kits. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and get these sprayed. We'll show you some video of that and then also get these clear coated and then they will be definitely a one-of-a-kind lift kit for the customer. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so we just got through finishing up all of the painting on all these parts. Everything came out amazing. Everything looks awesome. We got tons of color shifts going on. All the different curves on the lift kit, it looks amazing. It really does. So we put two coats across everything and it just looks awesome. I know I keep saying that, but this is definitely a one of a kind custom lift kit and so you can do the same thing on any of your parts whether you have wheels whether you've got a bumper or you want a whole car whatever this is the way that you're going to do it so i'm really excited about it we'll show you some shots of it just with the paint by itself but whenever that clear gets on it that's whenever it's really going to shine it's really going to pop and you're really going to see it especially in the sunlight so Take a look at these quick shots here that we've got with the uh, with just the paint on it, and then um, we're going to go ahead get some clear on these, and then you'll see the final finished result. So we got all the clear sprayed, everything looks awesome, it came out great, everything is looking exactly the way that we wanted it to. Now one thing to remember is, is on the clear coat that we sprayed, we used our um, the Liquid Concepts, the High Solids Glamour Clear. So really great clear, really great shine, it's going to look and it's going to look awesome and it's going to be very durable once it gets fully cured out. and you're going to be good to go. So uh, the customer should have no problems with this. It should last a long time even with all the stuff from the road and rock chips, things like that. It's going to be very, very durable. So you can also check that out in the description below if you're interested in uh, looking at any of that. But um, pretty much we've got everything all clear coated on here. Like I said, we've got a slick gloss clear coat. We'll show you guys that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I definitely do all the time. Uh, again, it's our weekly tips and tricks video. On this one, we did our copper rose color shift. Uh, came out amazing. We pretty much showed you exactly how to replicate this look with any part that you've got, whether it be wheels, whether it be a car, whether it be anything you can definitely get it done with the products that we've got. So I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts and we're making Hydrographics great again. Thank you for watching.